Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am back with another video. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I created these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pink marble geode nails. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Of course, the tips that I have on are Acrylic Creamery's 3XO No Curve Square, as well as I'll be using their size 12 Kalinske brush. I'm going to start these nails off with a marble, and for that I'll be using Nail House's Bubblegum and Candy Pink, as well as a white that I custom mixed myself. These nails are very, very, very detailed, hence it's why the video is a bit long, and I'll be taking you guys through each step, so let's get into it. So real quick, for those of you who don't know what a geode is, um, a geode is like a rock, like a rock that has like crystals in it and it's like marble kind of design. It's very, very pretty. Um, this was kind of my inspiration behind the set. I think it's very, very pretty. It's very dimensional and just detailed and I love it. So this is my inspiration behind the set. Geodes come in all different kind of colors, but I chose pink and I actually want to do this design again, but with different colors. Like, I want to do purple. I think that would be really, really pretty. I also feel like this set can be done, like, um, a lot of different ways. Um, I didn't really have to do this marble part, but I wanted to do it. Like I said, I wanted mine to be very, very detailed. Um, I didn't want, like, plain, you know, background. I wanted, like, a marble kind of background, and I wanted to just be very 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 detailed and yeah i really love how they came out and i wouldn't really do anything different
so we're in june now and i just want to say happy pride to everyone um i did a pride inspired set the other day and i cannot wait for you guys to see it although i have a ton of videos already recorded and i just recorded that one and i like to post in order i am going to go ahead and edit that one up or edit that one and upload it so that you guys can see that one and you guys know we're creeping into summer and I'm super excited for all the sets that I have um, planned or for the ones I'll be doing in general. I've already done just a couple summer sets. You guys have been loving them. Um, you guys showed a bunch of love on those 90s nails as well as those blue flame nails and those cherry nails. I appreciate y'all. Um, I have so many more fun, colorful, bright summer sets coming for you guys. I did one today that I cannot wait to show you guys. Y'all, I'm always working, so I have a ton of videos for you guys coming. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video and you guys don't miss any of them.
all right so this is how we're looking and next i'm gonna go ahead and use me secrets clear acrylic to cap the nails Alright y'all, so after having capped the nails, this is how we're looking. Next, I'm going to seal my cuticles using my 501 Carbide Drill Bit from Panna in the Grit Medium. You guys can find this bit in my Amazon storefront, and my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below. All right, and then next I'm gonna go in and quickly file and shape the nails. If you guys wanna see a full in-depth shaping tutorial, you guys can go check out that video on my channel.
Alright y'all, so this is how we're looking right now with the shaping and everything complete. We're going to move on to the next step, which is carving out the nails where we're going to be placing the crystals. So I'm going to take that same bit um, on a high speed. I think it's maybe at like 30 to 35. I think I turned it all the way up to like 35 RPM. So I'm able to really dig deep into that acrylic and make these little holes, I guess, where we'll be placing the crystals. So I'm doing this in no particular way, really. I'm just um, putting a lot of pressure down on the, onto the nail so that I can create these little holes um, in the shape that I want them to be. Also, be mindful when you're doing this um, near your natural nail, like I am here. I'm kind of like near my natural nail. Just be mindful of that because just like if you were using it on your natural nail, it will burn if you left it there for too long of a time. So I made sure to pause at moments and just like move around constantly so that it wouldn't burn my nails because at some point I could feel it like heating up. Now down here, I can put as much pressure as I want without like lifting up or anything like that. Um, you guys will see me pause a lot to just like, you know, give the file a break. You don't want to like go for a long time using an electric file, even though this is a really good one. Um, I just go in between like maybe after a few minutes if I'm going like steady. And again, making sure that when I'm near my natural nail like so, um, when I get like closer that I don't put so much pressure and I lift up and move around so it doesn't cause the nail to burn. And I know some of you are probably thinking the same thing that I was thinking when I first dug into these nails is that I didn't really want to ruin this beautiful canvas, but the results came out even beautiful or more beautiful. So again, just carving these holes out into the shapes that I want them to be. I didn't want them to be like just regular like circles. I want them to be like, you know, different little shapes. Like this entire look, I wanted it to look imperfect and moralistic. I also wanted to look like a part of the nail, of course, rather than just sitting on top, you know? And I was very happy with the way they came out. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the circle one and show you guys how I did that one. Again, going with this kind of look like with the crystals in the inside of the circle. So of course I just took my file and I went like, you know, like in a circle motion, if that makes sense. Creating like a little circle and then like pressing down to indent it and open it up. And like the rock or crystal, I wanted it super imperfect. These does not have to be perfect shapes or a perfect circle. The more imperfect it is, the more realistic it looks. And I'm just, you know, doing it my own way, like I said. That's my inspo for these nails. However, like, I'm not making it exactly how that rock looks, <laughs> clearly. If I did, I would make it more in detailed and make it look exact. And I'm very good at doing that, like making something exactly the way it look. And one day I want to try like doing some kind of like crystal work, making, you know, look exact. But like I said, I wanted to do it my own way, but that was kind of like my inspo, like the colors and everything. And too, when I said I'm very good at making things look like or seeing something like a set of nails and making it exact, um, I didn't mean like, you know, more artistic and detailed sets like very very detailed as far as like um imitating or duplicating a uh, crystal design but i do want to try that one day like i want to try it out to see because um i don't know how many of you guys follow me on instagram um and like my press ones that's kind of like an example of how like my customers ask me for a certain design and i create it exactly like that um i'm very good at that like i have a good eye for doing that and a good artistic 
way I guess I don't know anyways I did the thumb already as you can see and I'm still at this um, circle hole right here trying to carve it out I'm really trying to get in there because I want all of my holes to be like down to the clear I don't want anything in the background because when I lay my crystals down I want it to be very like clear like see-through so that it can look really realistic and just like put together so um, so in order to do that, I needed a like small pointed bit to really get in there. So I just switched out that um, carbide kind of like comb bit for this like smaller needle comb bit just so that I can really get in there and clean up that acrylic um, to the clear. All right, y'all. So this is how we're looking right now. Um, Next, I'm gonna go ahead and create those little gold rims with some gold foil. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys these before or this foil before. I normally just have it ready to go when I do use it, but this is a foil that I always tell you guys about that I use and that's in my Amazon storefront. It's a pretty big bottle. I think it was only like $5.99 and I've had this for a while. I don't use gold foil a lot, but if you even do, like this is so much to last for a very long time. So if you're interested in this bottle of foil, um, you guys can find it in my Amazon storefront and my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below. So just breaking up this foil, um, I'm going to be applying it with some, I don't know how anybody else apply it, but this is what's worked for me and it's what I always do. I just apply a little bit of acetone to where I want to apply it, which is around the rim of these little holes um, to create that look. Um, and I'm just applying it randomly. I think the best way to apply this gold foil or foil like this is in smaller pieces, pieces, <laughs> in smaller pieces because sometimes with the like acetone it doesn't want to stick for me and um it kind of like lifts up but what works for me which i found out along the way um i'll be trying to hurry up putting like bigger pieces but that won't work so i just um stop being so stubborn i guess and use smaller pieces I just really love the way this gold foil like made this a look look um especially the way that i placed it onto the nail and in the areas i did i just love it it's like um it's always a um, nice touch to add foil to the nails but for this look it was just really perfect um i've seen people do it with like um apply the gold with like gel but i thought that the foil would be different i haven't really seen people do that and i thought the foil would be different give it a different like look like a more like it would make it pop more if you if that makes sense like i just loved it i can't really explain it but i just love the way it made it look it just makes it look so good being as it is like a rock crystal design it just came out perfect like i just love the way gold foil looks with any set really like yeah too i don't know how many of you guys can tell but not only did i put it like on the rim of the holes like i kind of put it like a little down in there as well like against the walls to make it look like it was really like dimensional if that makes sense so it didn't look like it was just sitting on top and as you can see like i said before i did have a little trouble with um sticking the foil to the nail sometimes because i tried to apply larger pieces um just apply it in smaller pieces. It will work perfectly fine. And two, being as I didn't cap the, uh, I didn't cap this after applying the foil. Uh, I wanted it to lay flat, and you can absolutely achieve that if you just apply it in smaller pieces, because it really will, especially with the acetone, it really will like stick to the nail, like really good and lay flat if you apply smaller pieces. With larger pieces, as you can see, it'll want to come up like it was doing here so just apply some more pieces oh and because i'm curious i would like to know how if you guys use gold foil or foil um it doesn't have to be gold but foil um, how do you apply it to the nail? Like, I use acetone because that's what worked for me, and it's 
a little weird. I'm not sure if anybody else do that, but that's the way I just did one time as a beginner and I just kept doing it because it worked for me. Um, but how do you guys apply full to the now? Let me know in the comment section below. As you guys can see as well, the set does take a little while because it is like a lot of detail, um, well mine anyway. Um, I normally take like an hour and a half for all of my sets, but these took me like a little over two hours because it was a lot of, lot of detail and I wanted them to come out perfect and exactly how I wanted them to. I'm just saying that to keep it in mind if you guys do decide to try this set. Also, I know these look completely crazy right now. It looks crazy from the moment I drilled the holes into them. But, um, yeah, trust the process. Alright y'all, so this is how we're looking right now. A little crazy, a little cute, <laughs> but more crazy. <laughs> Next I'm going to go in and create my little marble, like uh, even more of a like marble design. Using a couple of polishes, one from Madame Glam, which is their perfect white. Um, Pepto from Nail House, which is that color, that pink color right there. As well as I used a polish from Beatles, like this dark pink color. I think it's number like A. Um... <sighs> 778 I just got up to look um yeah 8778 a and I'm going to be doing that applying some blooming gel so that it can spread out and look very very like realistic looking oh there it is I didn't know I didn't know if I showed it to you guys in the video but yes that color there from Beatles the dark pink a 778 so just applying the blooming gel that foils pretty much stuck down to the nail like i said um the acetone worked really great with it as well as applying smaller pieces so it's really down there um just applying some blooming gel um to the nail in the empty spaces missing the like holes and foil and stuff um and i'm gonna be applying these colors i'm gonna mix them up a little because i want that real like marble resin design kind of look if if that makes sense to you guys i want it to look very very realistic and i mixed the colors up at a point um and just kind of like went in little you guys see like little swirls around the circ circles or holes whatever um very like imperfect very you know uniforms but imperfect if that even makes sense um yeah i wanted like a marble resin kind of look um so yeah, it came out exactly how I wanted it to.
Oh right, yeah, this is how we're looking so far. Really, really cute. A little crazy, but more cute this time. <laughs> um, the next step is just applying the pixie crystals into the little holes. So I'm gonna do that using my IBD gel. First though, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the top coat to the nails, just so that once I apply the crystals, I don't have to go around them or anything like that. Um, and of course, I'll be using acrylic creamery's diamond top coat to do so. That is the only top coat I use matte and shiny. I love it. And the top coat slid right over the foil easily. Like I said, it's already like dry and stuck down to the nail. Um, the acetone do a pretty good job, at least for me, doing that to where I don't have to cap them. Y'all, I just wanted to say something real quick. Um, I'm not one to normally like say things and like give things my energy because this certainly doesn't deserve it. But because y'all are like my YouTube family, I just wanted to say something real quick, just to really let it be known. So um, I posted these notes right here on my Instagram like a day ago, something like that. And just like a few minutes ago, someone commented under my post like um, inspo by and tagged another account. As if I copied the person they tag, which is completely asinine. Let me just say that if I ever recreate a set from someone else, which I never really do anyways, maybe a couple times, because I try to be and am original, that's why some people are drawn to me, they are always tagged. If there's no tag, ding ding, I don't recreate anyone's work. I created this set on my own with inspo of the pink geode rock and the like crystal marble resin design that I've seen like on art pieces which I showed you guys pictures of in the beginning. Like I said before, any sets that are inspired by someone else, their name is always in the caption. I have no problem doing that. And I've spoken on before, even on here, how very big I am on crediting the original artist because it's been done to me and it's still done to me to this day. People take my work and then like act as if it's their own. And, and then there's the ones who do tag me as well. But there's a lot of people who don't and taking someone's work like that as if it's your own is really like whack and unoriginal like at people's big age. And I used to get so mad as a beginner but now I don't. I just take it as a compliment. I feel like if someone goes as far as like recreating your work, you know, they like your work and they thought it was cute enough to copy. Just know that if someone copies your work and you're upset, just know that you're the original and no one can do it like you and that goes for everyone like everyone is different no one can recreate something the way that someone else does like everyone is their own artist and i don't want to sound arrogant or egotistical because i'm certainly not at all but it's true and it's the fact that i'm comfortable and sleep very good at night knowing that no one can do it like me despite of and that's just period and goes for anyone because like i said we're all our own artists so i'm really just confused and was confused when i saw it at the fact to feel the need to comment under someone else's work something that's not true and something you just said because you're saying anything at this point like literally and that person is now blocked and was immediately and didn't receive a response because i don't play those kind of games don't ever try to disrespect me like, I've literally never seen you or the other person and their work for that matter um, in my life. Like, I don't even know you. And that's just weird altogether. Like, don't play with me, please. I literally be minding my own business, y'all. Like, other folks should as well. Anyways, 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 y'all. I'm sorry. Well, not really sorry. I'm not sorry for how I feel. Anyways, as you can see there, that was like my practice run um, on those like little swatch sticks. Um, of me seeing how I wanted this design to look before I did it, um, which is also proof that I didn't get this from anyone else, but we're off that subject. Um, normally when I think of a set in my head, um, to see that if I like it, like how it will come out, like how I imagined it in my head, I kind of do it on a swatch stick, like if I'm not sure of it, um, or if I've never done it before. Like I do it on a swatch stick to see how I look. As you can see in those swatch sticks, the crystals were kind of like pink, and it's because I like went over it with like some pink which I didn't end up doing in this design here. Um, however, that was really cute and I was gonna do it. However, I just went with the clear crystals instead, you know, um, that design instead. And like I said, I do wanna try like different colors of this design. I was thinking purple. I was thinking I'll do purple next. Um, I'm not really sure. Let me know how you guys like this design in the comment section below and if I should do um, different colors of it. Also, I didn't forget as well that you guys wanted to see me do different color like outline nails. I got y'all on that still. Um, I'm just doing video at a time for you guys. But um, let me know in the comment section below, like I said, if you guys want to see me do 
like I said. <laughs> if you guys want to see me do a different color of this geo design, marble, crystal type of design. I feel like I'm talking so much, but I'm just explaining what I'm doing. Um, as you guys can see, I didn't initially put some gold foil into that circle there, but I feel like it was kind of missing something, so I went ahead and added some gold foil into that circle, and it really made it pop, as well as I did add a little bit of um, like pink, that same pink and white marble design on the outside of the holes, or whatever you want to call them. Um, I kind of added like a little bit on that side there, just to kind of fill it in and make it pop a little. And yes, I'm just utilizing those pieces of gold foil that just are on that paper towel because why waste them? And I just needed small pieces anyway. And I'm doing that, as you guys can see, using this little um, wood, orange wood, cuticle pusher stick, just to kind of push those pieces in there, if that, if that makes sense, if you guys can see that, to push them into that perimeter. Because I didn't want it to take up the inside of that circle so it can still look like right. Um, as well as I thought it would be really cute if I like pushed it down inside of there. Which I'm really glad that I did because it did indeed look really cute. I'm talking a lot y'all. I know, I know. But this is my channel. <laughs> um, I just wanted to piggyback off of what I was speaking about earlier. Um, just because I spoke about this before. Not even regarding the person or whatever that commented. Um about like recreating sets. Someone asked me that in one of the comments, like in one of these videos, like under the comments before, asked me how did I feel about people recreating their sets um, or like my sets. And like I said, I'm absolutely okay with it because like I said, regardless of who create anyone's set, they can never do it like the original person um, because everyone's their own artist. And I truly am happy and honored when I see people recreate my work. It shows that they support me and they love my work. And I love it. I'm here for it. Go for it. As well as, I feel like... I just feel like that we, although we are the original creator of the sets that we create, um, we are not of the designs that we do because nails or the nail designs that we do originated a long time ago by somebody. Somebody started the ombre design. Somebody started the marble design and the French and the, the crocodile design, the 3D flowers. You know, like everything that we do came from someone. Someone created it originally. So to say that someone copied you from, you know, the simplest things, if it is not, um, like I've seen plenty of people do like copy sets, like nail for nail, design for design, like literally like they sat there looking back and forth, you know, at the, your design and copying it like literally to the T. Because like I said, I have seen people copy my work to the point that they can't say they got it anywhere else because it's literally like every single detail, even down to like the stone placement, like every single stone exactly and design exactly. Then yeah, that's copying, but we don't own these designs, like in so many words of what I'm trying to say. We just own like the masterpieces we create, if that makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, as you can see while I was talking on and on and on, I needed something for the crystals to like pop, for this design to like pop in the middle. So I went ahead and used this reflective pixie like dust glitter, whatever, from Raya's Nails. I believe that's the Instagram or um, company. I knew this would make it pop. Like I knew it. I just knew it. I could see it in my head. And I got this a long time ago. I never used it. It's my first time opening it. And I just applied some gel on top of those pixies and just kind of like kind of like put a little of that dust in there or glitter in there just for it to pop a little bit i didn't want it to override the pixie crystals however i did want it to like sparkle like you guys see here like there's a huge difference and i love it i really gave it that look because these remind me kind of as well like something in a galaxy like something very like i don't know like i don't know the word i'm looking for but um yeah um, sorry not sorry for the rant. I'm never sorry for the way I feel and I'm just talking to y'all. I'm just chatting, you know um, Even though y'all aren't talking back at this very moment um, But y'all are like my YouTube family like the ones that's been here And I want to know you guys thoughts like in the comment section below on this whole like Set recreation thing and taking people's work and stuff without tagging, you know that type of stuff like do y'all agree? Um, let's chat in the comments this side is pretty much done, you guys. Um, I'm just adding this little um, pixies, reflective pixies, like I said. Um, and if you made it this far in the video, comment. Um, let's see. I used to do this. I kind of stopped, but I'm going to do it this time. If you made it this far in the video, comment. Y'all know. 
if you know you know and for those of you who watched all the way through like from beginning to end appreciate you you're a real one this is how they look y'all this is how they look so so pretty um and i'm gonna go ahead and insert the final results They came out so, so pretty, y'all. I love them. Like, I love them. Super different. Super, like, just cool to me. And just, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you're loving the content. And be sure to turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video you can't forget it's little bell button if you don't hit it you won't be notified each time i post a new video and you can miss them so hit that bell so you'll be one of the first to know all right y'all thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now